So, welcome to this tutorial in how to create distortion correction data for LensFun. And as you can see here, this is my picture. It's quite off. So I need a lens correction for this one. But if I don't have a profile, I will need to create it myself. As you can see, other software like Affinity or ON1 use LensFun. Here we have a user request. Please could you add this lens for the list? Or I hope you can add that lens to the list. The thing is, those companies don't add those lenses to the list. You do it. You contribute yourself and you do it from here. So this is the database um, we are using, LensFun, and all the correction data are here, around 1000. So how to contribute? So let's start with distortion correction. You will need Hugin, download and install. And interface expert mode. Drag your picture that is distorted and control points, 200% zoom, ah, yeah one thing first. So we will need to correct or to create uh, data based on two lines, one on the top and the next line should be one third down. Actually it should be here somewhere, but this is the best thing I have, or the best picture I have right now. So let's do it. 200%. Start from left and press. Or click. And on the other window, start here. Go down here, add a new line. And then you just continue. As you can see, I follow this line that should be straight. And check. Yeah, maybe one more, two more. And something like this. Perfect. Now go down to the next line. Here it is, and do the same thing again. Start from left and add new line, and then we continue. Something like that. Okay. Now go to Stitcher, choose this one, go to Photos and Geometric, Custom, and then you have the Optimizer. Click on A, B, and C. Optimize now, yes, go back to photos and on your picture here or the file, lens and save lens to file and you can just save it here, yes, and now See, I already opened it. Here it is. Okay, the most important here is 
A, B, and C. So those three numbers here, you co copy and you apply them in the database for your lens. So for example, if I go to the database, I will take a look at my my lens that I have. So it's a um, DSLR lens and it's from Canon. So it should be here. Okay. And as you can see here, we have the cameras first and then we have all the lenses here. And as you can see, it's followed by, you know, maker, model and what mount, I mount it is and also the crop factor. Let's search for my lens. Here it is. And we have distortion, TSA and vignetting. And I did create distortion data. So, and um, the focal length was 24 millimeter. Then I take a, B and C and go to 24 millimeter and replace these numbers or create it. Create them if I don't already have them. That's it. It takes five, ten minutes and you have a profile. Um, so if you have a zoom lens you will need to do it for five focal length at least. More is better. If you don't have a zoom lens, just a prime lens, then it's just easy. It's just one. Well, that's all. Thank you very much.